today we are going to be creating some pop art onomatopoeias. Onomatopoeia is that sound that we read in comic books. Here I'm using for splash, I'm doing a splash. But feel free to use any other onomatopoeia you want. If you want to be a zap, a zoo, a bang or a crash, that's all up to you. Choose your onomatopoeia, choose your colors and choose where to put a band-aid dot. You will see this by the end of the video. Hello, I'm doing a pop art onomatopoeia. That's something to in comic books. I'm going to do a onomatopoeia for splash. And I know that splash has six letters, so I want to have SPL in the first half of my paper and ASH in the other half. So I'm just folding my paper in two so I can see the middle. And I'm going to try to put the first three letters on this side. So I'm starting with L and P and S. To the other side, A, S, H. Splash! So I'm just tracing my letters in pencil. But I want to make these letters like bubble letters. That's why now I'm getting my black marker and I'm going to start going around these letters, trying to leave this pencil line inside of them. So I'm kind of tracing the letters. And you still can see the pencil line on the inside of it. Now splash in my case is for painting blocks and I want to do some painting splashes going around and my painting splash will go up and down making this shape. For now I'm ignoring my letters, I can go on top of my letters too and I can erase everything later, I just want to make this wave crazy line around what I have here. I'm also adding some lost drops in some spaces here. One more, a big one here. Then you go, I have my splash. I know now that I don't want to trace anywhere inside my letters, but I can erase all of this later. And I will make sure I want to trace everything. So, I'm gonna color first act on my splash, it's going to be, it's going to be blue, so we can work both for water or for paint, and then you can just decide to use how you want. You notice I let my extra bubbles blank for now. I finish them soon. I want to go back for the letters and make some idea of uh, 3D on them. So I'm just making the lines on the right side and on the bottom a little bit more thick. So everything that is on to the right and to the bottom, I'm adding an extra bold line. So this is bottom so You can color the letters in the color that you want. I will leave mine white, but then I have a problem. 
my background is also white. And if we have one color on the same color, they don't have contrast. It's hard to see the contrast between these colors. So, any suggestions? What should I do? Yeah, I know. I have to color either my letters or my background, right? So, I think I'm going to cut all this splash from here and paste in a new sheet of paper. You may also just to color the background instead, but I will cut. I want to see how my splash goes in two different backgrounds. So I'm picking, I'm sticking to the primary colors, which are blue, yellow, and red or magenta. In this case, my paper is red. And let's see how it looks like on yellow. I like it very much. And in red, it's cool too. This one looks more intense. And this one looks more soothing, like a summer day. I think I'm gonna keep it the summer day for my splash. And then I just have to organize my jobs around so I can see where it's better. I still miss something though. What could I do? I know what it's missing. I'm missing some bente dots and I will do them right away. As in pop art, we have a lot of offset print style stuff, I'm going to get this paper and made a lot of dots. I want to do some band aid dots in my paper to look more pop artish. So I'm going to get a Q-tip and some orange paint. I'm actually mixing red and yellow to make orange and I'm filling this page with the, with the orange dots. If you don't have paints, you are welcome to do the dots with a crayon, again, whatever color you want, or even with markers. So you can just draw the dots on your paper with pretty much any coloring materials that you have. So when you place the splash, oh, it will look gorgeous. Let's make some dots around. When you are done making your dots, you're going to paste your onomatopoeia on the paper. But think that you can choose to make the band-aid dots in another place, maybe in the letters, maybe in the blue background, then it's your choice.